what's going on guys back with another video here on this beautiful 68 we're wrapping up the ls swap and the wiring and all that uh the next thing i'm going to be doing is the dakota digital so i wanted to walk y'all through the wiring on that and let y'all know how it works with the ls engine and the american auto wire harness right after we get that finished today um that's pretty much a wrap for this car. All I have to do aside from that is wire up the electric fans. And uh, then this is gonna go to the exhaust shop. So we've got a quite, quite a bit of work done. If you've seen the previous videos, we go into, um, into detail and in explaining what we've done to the car and what's left and all that. Um, it's pretty much a wrap now. Again, it's gonna go to the exhaust shop. Uh, there is a mobile tuner that is gonna be coming to uh, to get this thing tuned because it has a big cam and, and some other performance parts. So um, the the tune that's on the computer now is just stock so the car doesn't stay on it'll start but it won't stay on because of the big cam and all that other stuff so uh, once we get that addressed we'll have a walk around video of the car running and uh, showing y'all the dash and all that other stuff uh, today again we're going to be running through all the install on the dakota uh, i got all the wiring finished so right now is the perfect time to show y'all in detail how that works and and everything behind it so we're gonna get under the dash and uh, and show you all these details on it okay so starting with the dash itself everything under the dash as you can see I installed the one piece firewall dash pad and that thing is excellent quality I love it it goes all the way through from side to side it obviously goes before anything else I'll be adding the uh, part number to the description. Okay, so we'll start with the LS harness. So this harness here is coming from the engine bay. So this is obviously an extended harness to mount everything inside the car. So it has a few connections. Two of them are obviously to the PCM right there. I mounted it uh, directly to the firewall. It's nice and sturdy. So these are the two connections here coming off of the LS harness to the computer. The other one, the other connection is this plug right here, which plugs directly into the pedal. This is the pedal for the LS swap. Uh, this pedal came with the LS harness. And then it also came with the With the fuse box, this is the fuse box for the LS harness. I like keeping the fuse boxes together, so I built this bracket for it so they can have easy access to the American Auto fuse box and also for the LS swap fuses. Most LS harnesses are similar, but they all have something a little bit different. So the only wire that was coming off of uh, this particular harness was the um, the ignition wire which goes straight to the ignition it needs power on when the key is forward and then also in cranking and then aside from that wire it had the two wires for the fuel pump one directly to the fuel pump and then one to uh one direct power to start the fuel pump it has a fuel pump relay so it has two wires for the fuel pump relay and one wire for the ignition that's it it's very simple aside from that it obviously has the obd2 port for your check engine line and all that uh this is right here this is the obd2 port if you want to scan it if you have a check engine light or if you want to tune the car you connect the scanner straight into there right now what it has connected is right here this is connected straight to the bim Dakota digital box and I'll show y'all why so this is the plug that goes straight into your OBD2 port from the BIM OBD2 interface box so let me go up there and show and this plugs right into the OBD2 right there boom easy money so on the that's pretty much it from the LS harness so right here we have your Dakota Digital control box. This is it right here. 
and I'm gonna walk you out through some of the wiring on it. So right above it, you have this, uh, the OBD2 interface, which I show you where it connects. It connects straight into the OBD2 port on your LS harness. And then it has uh, this connection, which, which is the same one down to the OBD2 port. And then you have these two. You can use either one of these. And this one goes directly into the auxiliary port right there. There's only one auxiliary port on the control box. So it goes connected right here. And as far as the wiring goes over here, your DIM, it should go to a dimmer switch, but this goes to your dash lights on your American Auto Harness. So whenever you turn on your dash lights, your, your dash will turn on. Your check engine wire, it comes straight from the LS harness, you connect it right there. So the check engine light is functional. Your brake right here goes to your brake switch, which is right above the pedal. And there's a there's an individual wire for it. It's one thing about the American Auto Wire harness. Every single wire in the harness is labeled, so it's really hard to mess that up. Your high, this is for your high beams. You have a specific high beam wire that goes straight to there. And again, all this is functional. And then you have your left and right blinker. All that is functional. That's it on this side. Over here, you have your uh, fuel. So this, this fuel wire right here goes directly to the gas tank. It's ran all the way to the gas tank. It goes to your sender. And also this ground, I have it all the way to the sender. And then I have it doubled up right here. All these, these are all soldered together. There's two wires you can see right there. One is straight to the tank and then one goes right there. And that is for your fuel sending unit. And I'll show y'all how to set that up once I put the dash in. These three wires here, you got a green, a red, and a black. They go to your switch that is provided by Decode Digital. Here is your switch right here. You have switch one and switch two. This is to program your dash for fuel sending, fuel sending unit, um, a number of things which I will walk you all through. So you need, you need to mount this switch where it's accessible while you're driving. And down here, you got three more wires. You have your ground. You need to find a real good ground for it. You have your constant power, which you can pull from the fuel fuse box or the ignition. And then you have your accessories power, which is the ignition. So this, this red one has to have power at all times. Ground is ground. This, this one goes straight to your ignition. This wire here has to have power when the key is forward and in cranking. That's your accessories power. And that's all that's wired up to here. You will notice there is no wiring to the oil pressure or the water temperature. The reason for that is because the BMI, I'm sorry, the BIM gets the direct reading from the computer for your oil pressure, your tack, and your water temperature. There's another tack wire down here, which you do not have to wire since you're already getting all the information straight from the LS computer. So this thing saves uh, time on wiring and obviously gives you 100% accurate readings directly from the computer. And I can attest to that thing. It works great. I have it on uh, on my red car and I wouldn't do it any different. So over here, you have a display cable. You have three options for a display cable. You can use either one of them. I have it connected here to the middle. This is what the other side looks like. It looks like an old phone jack for, for y'all that know what a phone jack looks like. This is what goes connected to the back of the dash itself. And that's the only thing that goes connected to it. So this is all the wiring through and through for the Dakota. And um, I actually haven't connected it. So this is gonna be the first time um, turning it on and looking at it lit. So here's the back of the Dakota. Here is the display cable. And as, I, as you can see, it's just one connection. 
So they, they send the wire with extra length. So what I'm gonna do is connect it and then um, shorten the wire up top, maybe with a zip tie or something, just to get out the way and make it look nice and neat. So this just goes connected right there, boom. That's pretty much it again for the, for the wiring between the LS, uh, the American Auto Wire, and uh, Dakota. So if y'all have any questions about that, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and install this and uh, turn it on so y'all can check it out. So I got everything buttoned up. So let's go ahead and light this sucker up. Key forward. Here our fuel pump prime. Oh yeah. Yes sir, look at that. And this thing is beautiful. I wish it was darker in here, but I got the garage open. There it is. Man, that thing is nice. So if y'all remember about this switch I was telling you about earlier, this is how you set up the dash. You got switch one, a switch two, right here. So I'm gonna do a separate video on how to set up the, the fuel sender and uh, how to set up a few other things on here clock and all that but you do that with that same switch this video is running a little bit longer than i expected so i'm going to do a whole separate video and how to set up both of these right here so we can run through them now so you can know what to expect over here on your right it shows your trans temperature outside temperature insect temperatures that is the hours ran high speed mile per hour Zero to 60, quarter mile, quarter mile. It also has a digital tech along with the analog tech. High RPM and then to the clock. Over here on the left where it says check engine has a number of things where you set up the fuel and your brake. Temperatures. So those are a few things that you need to go through to set it up, but uh, I'm gonna run that in the next video. That's it for this one. I just wanted to show y'all some of the details on the wiring itself and everything turned out the way it should. I love the look. I know my buddy's gonna love the way this thing looks. Turned out really nice. So that's a wrap for this video, guys. Uh, we still got a few more coming. Uh, we're gonna tune this thing, take it to the exhaust shop, and I plan to get footage of every bit of that. And then my boy's gonna get in this thing and do some burnouts. So, y'all don't wanna miss it. I know he's gonna shred through these 13s easy. This car has a really big cam, it's real choppy, and it's gonna be a really nice car. So, y'all stay tuned, and I appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll catch you on the next one. I'll catch you on the next one.